Um, this is going to be fun. Uh, there are a couple of people here who have similar cars. Uh, one, both of them are solstices. One is red and one is black, and they both said that they want to race me because our cars are similar, as opposed to some of these cars that are really souped up and way beyond my even remotest chance of beating them. So, yep, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> my nickname is Hot Rod Grammy. Um, I'm the, I'm without a doubt, the oldest female contestant. Um, I'm probably among the oldest of all the contestants. Uh, there are probably a couple who are older than I am. Um, but that's not important. The important thing is that we have fun and nobody gets hurt. Maybe egos are bruised, but <laughs> that's about it. This isn't about contests, it's about individual fun. If there's somebody that you want to race against, you find that person and you line up next to that person. If you don't care who you race against, you just get in the third lane and it's like first you come first turn. Up next in the left lane, in her 07 Saturn Sky, the infamous George Ann Schuster. And in the right lane with his 97 Grand Am number 102 Mac Posh. They're staged and ready. Don't mess with grandma. With a point of 9.882 miles an hour, that one goes to George Ann Schuster. The thing that says thunder on the strip, that's the name of the twice a year event held at the Gladwin Zettel Airport in the city of Gladwin. I remember when I first was lined up at the tree, uh, at the started my very first race here the young man who was lining me up said if anyone had told me when I was a junior in high school that one day I'd be lining up my English teacher for a drag race I would have said you're crazy but he says here she is this is a small town and this is a, a lot of fun for a lot of people and uh, it's good for the community that's one of the things I really like about it we have George Jane Schuster in the left lane. And in the right lane, Peter Brass for Pontiac Schuster. Our son Jason, who is a member of the Business and Professional Association here in town, um, as part of a group they were looking for something different in the community that uh, could be fun and could promote the community and could also raise money for their biggest event, which is the Christmas Lights Parade. And Jason, who has a really fast car, said, why don't we see if we can have some kind of racing event? Um, it took them about a year to get this put together. We race on the taxiway at the local airport. We're not allowed on the runway at all. There were a lot of hoops that they had to jump through, but so far they've been successful in running a very safe race. They always have a fire truck here, they always have an ambulance oh, yeah. here, no, and the people on those two vehicles look at it as, as a day off because they haven't had any, any events that needed their services. People come from all over the state. It's um, a relatively inexpensive event. It's $25 for the drivers and $5 for spectators. Generally, we start in the afternoon and run until the early evening. Well, George Ann didn't need that red light to beat him. She just beat him straight up. 9.383 miles an hour. 
There are no prizes, and that was one of the conditions that the Business and Professional Association thought was important. I think some of it has to do with my mother's father, who was a machinist, and his shop was right next door to the house where I grew up. His specialty was gearboxes for racing vehicles, and from time to time he would take me with him out to Saginaw Bay to watch the big boats as they were trying out the gearboxes that he created for them. I've always liked to drive fast, but I don't like tickets, and I don't like the idea of hurting anyone or anything. And so this is a wonderful venue for me because it's legal. All right, up next we have George James Schuster in the left lane, and in the right lane, Peter Brock. Saturn Sky versus Pontiac Solstice. All right, they're staged and ready. Let's hear it for them, folks. Peter's out to the early start, but it looks like Jordan is coming back. The tail of the tape's gonna read, Jordan Schuster with a 9.084 miles an hour. Before I came here today, I said to my husband, I don't expect to win but right, I expect to have a lot of fun. Ron Sheffield and the four for four is not bad at all. Miles an hour. It was a great day. <laughs> well, folks, we only got about 15 more minutes of racing. We're going to be shutting her down at 6 p.m. Let me have fun. It's more fun to win, but it's fun just to go fast.